This is Finished Work TV, a place of inspiration, wisdom, and revelation. As you listen and receive God's Word today, your life will never remain the same. Glory be to God. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad. And today, I want to share with you to expect supernatural help. No matter what you're dealing with, no matter what the situation is right now, there is a supernatural help that can move you to the next dimension of your vision, your calling, and your purpose. Whenever God wants to move you forward, He begins a conversation. Whenever God wants to move you forward, he starts a conversation. And the intention behind the conversation is to give you a direction. The purpose of the conversation is to also give you a mindset that is consistent with his person. In Genesis chapter 12, the word of the Lord came to Abraham and said, leave your father's house to a land I will show you. His destiny began with a conversation with God. And that is the same thing that is going to happen to you and I. Whenever God wants to move you forward, He begins a conversation. And this conversation is strategic if you're going to make progress in the direction of the will of God. When God begins a conversation with you, there is an intention behind that conversation to shift your way of thinking and to help you to see supernatural experience that can transform you into a new phase of life every time god begins a conversation he pushes you forward to help you do the impossible and that is what i'm saying today that supernatural help is coming to you no matter what you're dealing with no matter what the situation is right now there is a supernatural help that will take you to the next phase of your life in second kings chapter 4 we saw this widow that came to elisha the man of god and when this widow came to elisha she had a problem with her debts she was going to struggle for losing her husband and the creditors were come to take his two sons to become slave that situation was a challenging situation but something supernatural happened she made her way to the man of God to see Elisha. Often I say to people, when you have a problem and you don't know what to do, you just know where to go. When you have a problem and you don't know what to do, just know where to go. The purpose of meeting Elisha was to unlock a prophetic instruction that will produce the direction that will change the situation. For most people, they're dealing with a very difficult situation. The most important thing whenever you deal with any issues of life is instruction and direction. These two are very strategic in solving your problem. To get an instruction from God and to have the direction to follow that will help you come out of the situation. In Second Kings chapter 4, that was what we saw. She went to Elisha with an expectation. One of the ways you go to a minister of the gospel that you know is a genuine minister, when you are going, you have to go by faith. You have to go with an expectation. You have to go with an intention that God is going to bring for the word. And whenever God wants to move you forward, he introduces instruction. And the purpose of instruction is to equip you to unlock the impossible. So supernatural help is possible when we will receive divine instruction. I want to say that again. I said supernatural help is possible when we receive divine instruction. It doesn't matter what you're dealing with in this season, whatever the situation may be, or whatever you're dealing with in your finances, in your career, there is an instruction that will move you to your next direction. Whenever you're dealing with any situation, get a word from God. A word from God is the resources required in thinking, in decision making, in deciding what the expectation should be. So when she went to Elisha 
there was a prophetic instruction what do you have in your house the first thing elisha asked her what do you want me to do and the next thing he said what do you have in your house and she couldn't see anything of value and she said i have a jar of oil i have a, a jar of oil or a bottle of oil and it, an instruction came from elisha the purpose of prophetic instruction is to help you see things you couldn't see when the conversation started you couldn't see that you have a pot of oil that could be a resources that will help you come out of your situation you couldn't see that but that prophetic instruction bring a light the purpose of god's word is to help you see the things you already have that could help you move to the next level of your life so when god brings forth a prophetic instruction his intention is to stir up your faith his intention is to help you to unlock supernatural wisdom to move in the direction of supernatural results so elisha said to her go borrow vessels that doesn't sound like what she should be doing because they're already in debt are you telling me to go and borrow vessel i came back to, i came to you to tell you that we have a problem my husband was in debt and now the creditor is to take my two sons to become slave and you're telling me to go and borrow vessel one of the ways to resolve issues is not to argue with god a lot of people god will tell them what to do they already have in their mind what they want to do and that is a that's going to be a conflict because when god gives you an instruction it's with an intention to move you far beyond your present situation for you to receive supernatural help you must learn to submit to the integrity of god's word for you to receive supernatural help you must learn to submit to the integrity of the word you know until you get to this point in your life where you believe what god's word have said you can break forth faith comes by hearing romans 10 17 he says so then faith comes by hearing so when god begins a conversation with you the primary intention is to stir up your faith is to bring forth faith for you to be able to move in the direction of his will so elisha said to her go and borrow vessels can I say this to you? Your situation is not that big that God has no solution for it. God has solution for your situation, but you need to have an open mind to get an instruction. Whenever God wants to give you a solution, he gives you an instruction. The solution is found in the instruction entrusted to your care. So Elisha said to her, go and borrow vessels. That prophetic instruction set the stage for supernatural help if you want to see supernatural help receive instructions go for instructions romans 8 14 it said as made that are led by the spirit of god they are the sons of god one of the ways you receive the leadership of the spirits is by following divine instructions one of the ways you receive the leadership of the spirit is by following divine instruction the primary purpose of prayer is to hear from god I used to say to people that the primary purpose of prayer is to hear from God. You know, somebody said, I'm praying for 40 days. Someone said, I'm praying for 30 days. Another person said, I'm praying for 50 days. The primary purpose of prayer is to receive a word from God. If you're praying and you're not praying with an intention to receive instruction and direction, I believe you're not praying. If you are praying, and you're not having an expectation to receive instruction to receive instruction to receive correction to receive direction i don't think you're praying one of the primary purpose of prayer is to hear from god as you can know what to do about your life about your vision about your purpose about your destiny hearing the voice of god will set the stage for supernatural help hearing the voice of god a lot of people have made decisions that cost them millions of dollars there are those who have lost millions of dollars because they made their decisions in the flesh there are those that made their decision based on the analysis the economists gave to them they made their decision based on the analysis that was given to them we we'll make our decisions by the spirit it is by the spirit we make decisions decisions that will be productive must be spirit inspired decisions you don't make your decision based on how you feel you make your decision based on what the holy ghost is telling you 
I want to say that again. I said you don't make your decision based on how you feel. You make your decision based on what the Holy Spirit is telling you. What the Spirit of God is telling you should be the basis, should be the foundation for your decision making. It is by the Spirit we hear the voice of God. It is by the Spirit we connect with the will of God. It is by the Spirit we connect with the intentions of the Father. It is by the Spirit. So when you pray, expect instruction, expect correction, expect direction, expect the wisdom of God to come to you when you pray. You are believing God for this business or for this job or for this career. The most important thing his direction the most important thing is instruction when god gives you instruction he has started solving your problem one of the ways god solves your problem is by giving you instruction of what to do the purpose of instruction is to determine your decision is to determine your action is also to determine your expectation when god gives you an instruction is to determine what your decision should be what your action should be and what your expectation should be. That is the purpose of instruction. There are a lot of people praying, Oh God, open a door for me. Oh God, do this for me. Oh God, do that for me. They are asking God to do for them what has already been done for them instead of asking the Lord, I receive wisdom. Lord, I receive direction lord i receive instruction to find the harvest to receive the harvest i receive instruction to be at the right place at the right time with the right people doing the right things the same way you use your faith for so many things you have to use your faith to receive direction instruction from god you have to use your faith to receive direction to receive instruction, to receive a word from God. By faith, you gotta receive instruction. I receive instruction in the name of Jesus. I receive direction. I know what to do in the name of Jesus. Never say, I don't know what to do. I am hopeless, I'm frustrated. No, never say you don't know what to do. You have to make your confession. I know what to do in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I have direction for this situation. In the name of Jesus, I have understanding for this situation. In the name of Jesus, I have the right counsel for this situation. When you begin to receive by faith, Receive the wisdom of God by faith. Receive divine counsel by faith. Receive divine instruction by faith. You 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 start moving in the direction of what you have received. That was why Jesus said, "When you pray, He said you should believe that you have them." When you pray, so when you begin to pray, believe you have them. One of the things you need to trust God for in this season is direction. The prosperity begins with direction from God. And that direction is a product of divine instruction. A lot of people are starting businesses without hearing from God. A lot of people are going into ministry without hearing from God. A lot of people are trying to get married without getting the voice of God. It is important you include God in the things you do. It is important. Don't think you know what to do. It is by the Spirit who will see what to do. Hear this and hear me very well. Don't think you know what to do. The reason why most people have lost millions of dollars, millions of pounds, millions of naira, millions of euro is because they thought they know what to do only to step into something that was already going to drown their resources. You know, when Lot uh, had a situation with Abraham, instead of him resolving the situation, and Abraham as a man of peace came up and said to Lot, okay, if you take this side, I'm going to take this side. And Lot took the side that he thought was more fruitful. He made his choice in the flesh and he had consequences of those choices. He lost everything. And you have people today that have lost their business, lost their ministry, lost their marriage, lost their family, lost everything because they weren't hearing the voice of God. The voice of God is the foundation for prosperity. The voice of God is the foundation for supernatural help. The voice of God is the key to unlocking the will of God. The voice of God is strategic in manifesting divine purpose. You cannot successfully step into your destiny without a word from God. Stop doing things without hearing from God. Stop going into businesses with people without getting a word from God. 
Stop doing things without hearing. Uh, there are things I lost because I never heard the voice of God. Yes, many years ago, I lost so much money. Bought a property that we never knew. Our local church many years ago, we bought that property and we're building. And only for we to realize the property was sold to another company before we bought the property. I had the money, but I had no direction. Money is not direction. This is why people lose their money. They thought that if they have money, they can do this, they can do that, they can invest into this. People have invested into things and they saw nothing. They lost the money because they were led by their flesh. Some were led by their greed. Some were led by opinions. They never listened to the voice of the Holy Ghost. They never listened to the voice of the Holy Spirit. They were led by their emotion. Can I say this to you? The key to productivity is to stay connected to the voice of God. No matter who is talking to you at the other side of the phone, what, you, you have to check inside. What is the Holy Ghost saying? What is the Spirit of God saying concerning this issue? Yes, yeah, sweet Holy Spirit. This is why intimacy with the Spirit is the key to true leadership intimacy with the spirit is the key to true leadership if you want true leadership you got to be led by the spirit of god it doesn't matter who said it it doesn't matter how they said it it doesn't matter how it's how how brilliant the idea was how brilliant the concept is how brilliant they, they presented it you got to go check it out with the holy ghost you know, I had some people in my local church that came to me and said, Oh, Pastor, I made a very major mistake over my life. I know you told us not to go into things like this, but I did and I lost so much money. The, the, the fellow lost so much of his money because he invested into this business and thinking he was going to have a harvest. Listen to this. Don't be led by profits. Be led by the Spirit. Don't be led by profit. Don't, don't be led by profit. Be led by the Spirit of God. If you are led by profit, you're going to miss out. If you're led by the Spirit, you're going to have abundance of profits. To be led by the Spirit of God, you're not going by what you feel. You're not going by what they said. You're not going by the things happening around you. Sweet Holy Spirit, what would you have me do? Sweet Holy Spirit, what is your direction for this assignment? Sweet Holy Spirit, should I invest this money into this business? Sweet Holy Spirit, should I loan this man this money? Most of us got into trouble because we're not listening to the Holy Ghost. As men that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. To be led by the Spirit is the key to securing your human resources, Securing your financial resources and securing your material resources. So be led by the Spirit. If you want to receive supernatural help, if you want to receive supernatural results, if you want to see manifestations of the Spirit, you got to be led by the Holy Spirit. Wow, this is why we pray in tongues. This is why we pray in the spirit. This is why we pray in the spirit. One of the primary purposes of praying the Holy Ghost is to hear the voice of God, is to know the voice of God, is to flow with the voice of God, is to stay connected to the voice of God, to be led by the Spirit of God. The Holy Ghost is telling you, don't go into that business. Don't go with that guy. Don't go with that woman. Don't go with that girl. Don't be careful with this fellow. Be careful with that fellow. The Spirit will always get your attention if you care. If you care, the Spirit will get your attention. And He will show you the direction to follow. The Spirit will show you the direction to follow he will tell you what to do and how he wants you to do it the spirit is going to tell you what to do it is by the spirit we know the will of god it is by the spirit we understand the will of god second kings were, we're talking about that scripture the woman got to the prophet the prophet said what do you want me to do for you and then he said what do you have in your house and she said just a bottle of, just a jar of oil and the prophetic instruction is go borrow vessels. And she never argued with the prophet. She she believed that word. This is how faith works. Faith works by receiving the word of God. Your faith will work when you receive God's word and act in the direction of what you have received. That is how your faith works. Your faith works by the word. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. As you have heard, you start moving the direction of what you have heard. And what you're going to see is supernatural help. 
what you're going to see supernatural result god will help you through his spirit god will help you through his word the word and the spirit is the way of the new testament believer the word and the spirit is the way of the new testament believer the word and the spirit the spirit and the word is the only way god leads the new testament christians today by the spirit by the word any other channel have to be a channel based on the word a channel based on the spirit of god and that is how you know that god is involved in it i'm here to say to you today god will give you an instruction and that instruction will be the template for changing your situation and for moving the direction of supernatural help. A word from God is what makes a difference. A word from God, when the Spirit of God begins to talk to you, listen. The Spirit can never be wrong. You know, many years ago, I have this daughter of mine, and she wanted to get married to this fellow and she talked to me about this fellow and i said okay let me check out this fellow and you know what happened and she told me that her church her pastor said that this is the right man for she to marry but but when i look at the fellow i knew something was wrong but you see when people decide to believe what they want to believe you can't do anything about it you can only have someone who is willing to listen to the holy spirit so she said her church people said that is the right man their prayer team in their ministry said that's the right man i said that's not the right man for you and she ignored my voice married that man no less than three months the man left her the man told her i don't think i can stand this marriage what happened she was broken she was scattered i saw that as men that are led by the spirit not as men that are led by their emotions don't let your emotions lead you they will never lead you right it is only the spirit of god and the word of god that can lead you right don't go by your emotion your emotion will say do it right now do it right now if you don't do it right now it's not gonna work out listen we'll walk by the spirit we'll listen to the holy ghost we'll listen to the spirit of god this is why we'll renew our mind with god's word romans 12 verse 2 said don't be conformed to this world be you transformed by the renewing of your mind you have to renew your mind with god's word as you can be sensitive towards the thoughts of god towards the leading of the spirit and towards the will of god when you renew your mind with god's word you can connect with the activities of the holy ghost you connect with the activities of the spirit when you begin to renew your mind romans 12 verse 2 philippians 2 verse 5 let this mind be in you that is in christ jesus if you will receive supernatural help you must learn to study the word. You must learn to fellowship with the Holy Spirit. You must learn to pray in the spirit. As you pray in the spirit, as you study God's word, you will begin to receive supernatural help. As you follow the instructions and the leadership of the spirit that is made available to you, you'll begin to break forth into greater height. I'm here today to say to you, supernatural help is coming to you and supernatural help is possible and you are going to walk in supernatural help and you're going to see the hand of the lord take you from glory to glory in the name of jesus i pray for you today that the anointing of the holy spirit break every yoke break every limitation cause you to be sensitive to the thoughts of god to the will of God, to the purpose of God, in the name of Jesus, receive instruction, receive counsel, receive direction in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for ministering to us. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Glory be to God. Thank you for watching this broadcast. I want to encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, It's Faith Man Teachings on YouTube. You can watch me every day by going to YouTube. More than 3,000 videos on YouTube faith man teachings on youtube and also you can watch me every day by going to finishworktv.com those that choose to partner with this ministry you can go to finishworktv.com and slash giving and give at the spirit of god will lead you thank you for being part of this broadcast you can get my books at amazon there is greatness in you and 40 things you need to know about your future is available on amazon.com thank you for being part of this live transmission broadcast until i come your way soon don't forget this there is greatness in you and jesus is coming soon